I'm Lorna Arndt, manager of Folkways Alive, the University of Alberta's partnership with Smithsonian Folkways Recordings in Washington, D.C. We're a partnership because the Smithsonian manages what was the record company, Folkways Records, in New York City. After the founder, Moses Ash, died, the Smithsonian acquired the company. Before that happened, though, Moses Ash was inspired to donate a full set of the records to the University of Alberta. That was partly because he visited his family here. His only son, Michael Ash, was a professor of anthropology at the University of Alberta. So Moses and his wife, Frances, came to visit the grandchildren and his son and um, wife, um, Margaret. And Moses was inspired by Edmonton and thought this was in a community that would appreciate what Folkways was all about. The company was about documenting the worlds of sound and recording the sounds of the people and honoring them in doing so. So we have at the University of Alberta the full set of Folkways recordings uh, that were completed between 1948 and 1987 with some reissues of previously released material. But there's 2,168 albums here. They've all been displayed in our cabinet here in the Folkways Alive uh, archive. All of this material has also been digitized and is now available online through the Smithsonian Folkways websites and through the University of Alberta Libraries database. So if you have a CCID, you can access everything online. One of the great things about the Folkways collection is the amount of Canadian material that's included. Most of it was produced and collected by Samuel Gesser from Montreal, who uh, as a child was inspired to search out the Folkways material and eventually became the distributor of the label in Canada.